Why, hello there. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be sharing with you guys all of my favorite things at the moment. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Janelle and I upload new videos every week. I refuse to gatekeep and when things just like make me feel good and just like bring a smile to my day-to-day -day life, I have to share it with you guys. We have a little bit of everything in this video, some beauty, home, some skincare. I promise you're going to want to stay until the end because there's a lot of gems in here. So, so grab a snack, grab a drink, hang out, get comfy. And let's go over some really cool products that you guys might love too. These $7 tanks from Walmart, they're these cute tanks. They have a built-in bra into them and then this kind of like ruching here. I should probably show you guys a clean one so you can see it better. It has a built-in padding and some ruching down here. Now this little bottom part is my favorite part because it snatches in the waist and just makes you look so... Somebody asked on my TikTok if these actually like will help support. I am completely unqualified to answer that. But I will say it's super stretchy and it is like very form fitting. So it might, but the material is also not super thick. So anyways, I just thought that these are super cute. I love to wear them to the gym. I literally have them in every single color and they're only $7. I thought that I graduated from Forever 21, which I have for the most part. I will say I am no longer Forever 21's target market, but the last couple times that I perused around the store, I have found some some gems in their active wear section. First off, I have the cutest set from them. Look at this blue color. I'll either insert clips or have a separate clip of me trying this on. It has a nice thick waistband to kind of suck you in. This little ribbed material on the side. I like how the material is pretty thick, but it's still very stretchy. So it's going to snatch you in. It's not going to accentuate all the lumps and bumps and crevices. And then I also have the tank top. I got these in a size medium because I didn't want it too constricting or too tight, especially since this. This part really cinches in the waist. I hate when there's like that bulge in between. This set looks so cute on. I feel so confident when I wear it. And I like it because it's something you could obviously wear to the gym or you could throw a cute jacket over top. You could throw a cute coat over top and you can run errands with it. This top alone reminds me of the Aritzia Babaton top. It's like a very similar material, one that really snatches you in. Okay, and then this little mesh cropped zip up jacket. It was way too cute to pass up. Like, are you kidding me? Like, look at how freaking cute that is. I just thought that this would look so cute over that set. It would also look cute over an all black workout set. This would even look cute with just like regular attire to wear like out and about. I got it in a size medium to fit kind of slouchy but still kind of fitted. I also have it in white. I want to get that one too. I just think that this is such a cute little piece to layer and have. All right and then this last item I have been wearing way too much lately. Like it's kind of embarrassing but these pants they're kind of like that parachute pants. These fit so cute on. They go with so many outfits. They're also incredibly comfortable. They cinch in at the bottom and then they have all these little cinchy things on the side. This just looks so cute with like an all black outfit and sneakers. It goes with so many outfits. It kind of elevates it and gives it that like cool girl streetwear vibe. I got these in a size small and they fit perfectly. They're super, super comfy. Like I feel like I'm out and about in pajamas. Talking about black pants, I found the perfect, perfect black leather pants that will not give you pancake butt. I love the aesthetic of black pants. I love how they'll kind of elevate a basic outfit. Again, it gives it some different texture and variation. But so many times leather pants give pancake butt so like the material looks great the aesthetic of the outfit looks great and then you turn around and your butt is smushed in but these will not do that these are the babaton agency pants from aritzia everybody always talks about the melena pants from aritzia don't waste your money on those i've tried them on and they give severe pancake butt and they're not even comfortable these are genuinely so comfortable and so flattering i like that they have a slightly wider leg at the bottom so you could also kind of dress this down with sneakers and have more of that streetwear casual look or you could totally dress this up with heels because it is more form-fitting at the top it still has a very sleek look to it these pants will just elevate any outfit if you want to dress something up if you want to make something more edgy for the evening these are the pants for you and you're just gonna feel and look your best in them they're actually so comfortable they're not gonna be like that restricting leather that you can't even bend over or when you sit down everything's just kind of like bulging over you look like you're about to explode out of them these will not do that to you. I like that they have pockets and I also like that they have belt loops. If you're like me and you have been eyeing the Dyson Era, but it just like makes your stomach turn the thought of spending $700 on a hair tool, the Shark Flex Style, it changed my life. I'm able to style my hair in literally 20 minutes. This is what she looks like. It has the wrap attachment. It also comes with a round brush attachment as well as a regular blow dry attachment. And the cool thing about the Flex Style is that you can push this button down and turn it. Boom. It's like the shape of a regular blow dryer if you just want to blow dry 
dry it like normal or if you just want to quickly dry out your hair before you go in with the wraps it used to be a whole hassle like on date night if i wanted to have freshly blown out hair i'd have to start getting ready i kid you not like four hours before we had to leave the house because it would take so long to wash it then i'd have to wait for it to dry a little bit and then blow drying it with a round brush just took so long and then i would either do rollers or like to curl some pieces with a curling iron this does everything in one and i kid you not like 25 minutes when traveling i don't need to bring anything else because it's literally everything in one it's such an amazing tool it is still it's definitely still an investment but the way i see it is that it's kind of like blow dryer a curling iron all in one now i will say this isn't going to give you like those ringlet curls and it's not meant to hold like a super spiral curl this is more to give you that like blowout wave look i just wanted to point that out too just in case any of you guys get it i don't want you guys to have different expectations than what it actually delivers but i will tell you what it does deliver is the ability for you to do your hair super fast a super smooth voluminous bouncy blowout look next on the topic of hair when i'm either not using my air wrap or if i'm just gonna let it dry out for a little bit before i go in with the wrap attachments this turby twist is so good i'll wash my hair i'll get out the shower and i'll put this in my hair like this i don't want to mess up my hair but you basically tuck all your hair in here and then you wrap your hair like this and then you kind of like tuck it in this little top thing here it soaks up all the water in your hair so much better than a towel and it's also way less damaging because it's made out of like a microfiber material not only that but i found that if i keep this in my hair and i just let my hair dry with this my hair is not frizzy whatsoever like i'm able to get away with just wearing my natural waves if i let my hair dry with this and it's only five dollars from walmart Babe, what are you doing? I gotta change. Okay, come in. Change. Yeah, I was gonna film in the living room, but I didn't want to be too loud. Moving on. I've realized that the older I've gotten, the more just like comfy I want to be all the time. I don't want to be fidgeting with my bra. I don't want to be fidgeting with my clothing. Like, I need everything to be super seamless and just flattering and comfortable. And this might be TMI, but I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite, like most comfy, seamless undergarments that I can't be without. First off, these bras from Target by the brand Auden. They're so comfy and seamless. Like, I don't even feel like I have anything on. They have zero wiring whatsoever. Basic bra. You know what else I've realized as I've gotten older is I don't want to push up. I don't want to make it look like I have. I just want it to be comfortable. I want it to offer some support to the little that I have, but like I don't need to pretend like I have ginormous boobs. Basic bra that will offer support that's gonna be wire free. You're gonna forget you even have a bra on. Material is super soft, and I just it's just a good comfy bra. This is weird. Okay, so we all have that time of the month, and I would say maybe 80% of us have like that time of the month undergarments so that everything's not moving around, especially when you sleep. But also, I feel like when you wear that time of the month undergarments, you just kind of we already feel ugly and bloated and all that. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get a cute set where I can just be super comfy and also just feel. I got this set from Target and it's by the brand Hanes. Full on granny panties, but they're just really comfy, period underwear. But the reason I got this is because it came with the little matching bra and it was kind of giving skims for me it's all about like the little luxuries that make you feel good even when like you're absolutely feeling your worst it's just made out of a basic t-shirt material the bras come in a pack of two so you get this nude one and then a black one i actually have the black one on right now because i love to wear this when i'm around the house filming it feels like i have nothing on and the pack of period underwear came in like this nude color it also has a black it comes with a red pair it comes with like a star pair which i thought was kind of interesting i believe leave a gray pair i think it came with like five all together the perfect amount for my cycle so it might be tmi but i feel like if you want to be comfy but you also want like a cute little set when you are feeling your worst i thought that set was like a cute way to like make yourself feel cute so like i said i got the bras that came with the nude and the black but they also had a set that came with gray and red so i want to get that pack too so that way it'll kind of like match up with the full underwear pack that i got and then since we're on the topic of underwear i thought i would share these with you too because I just ordered a fresh pack i realized i was like okay i'm 27 years old like it's time to start regularly going through your underwear and sock drawer and like getting rid of those socks that you've had since like seventh grade and just like clearing things out regularly and getting just like fresh of everything i've recently just been trying to look forward to like the most mundane things and just having things that make me feel good just for me you know what i mean so anyways these are my favorite underwear they're super seamless and they're just a pack of amazon seamless underwear as you can see they are completely seamless so they're not going to dig into anything they lay completely flat they have a colorful pack they 
they have a nude pack, but I prefer the all black pack. They're like 18 bucks, I think, for a pack of five. You know, I was talking about how I've been wanting to just enjoy the most mundane things in life and just having things that make me feel good. Well, with that, I purchased this hand soap and it makes me so happy. And it's the Moroccan oil hand wash. If you've ever used Moroccan oil products, you know that their stuff smells incredible and i've always said that if they had like a body wash a body lotion or a body spray i would get it because i just love the scent it smells so good and it makes me so happy when i get to wash my hands with this i also got a little travel size of the moroccan hand cream and this also just makes me so happy every time i use it my hands have also been super dry this winter however like i always forget to put hand cream but now that I have this one, I don't ever forget because I'm just constantly looking forward to the scent of it. So this body wash I have been loving for like those days when I just want something a little bit extra. And it's the Bath and Body Works in the Stars Shower Gel. This just smells so good. And my favorite part about using this is that when I do use it, my whole like upstairs just smells like this. Oh, it's heavenly. So I don't like to use this on its own. I'll shower with my regular like Olay body wash first and then rinse that off and then go in with this. But anyways, whenever I do go in with this, the way the scent just like will linger on my skin for hours and it just helps all the other lotions and perfumes that I spray over top just like mesh together so much better. Special soap on hand because if I'm having an off day, if I'm just like having a low confidence day or just like out of it, I'll make sure to use all of my special lotions and soaps and scents that will just kind of slightly uplift my mood. So another mini luxury to incorporate into your day-to-day -day routine that will just make you feel amazing. This Gizu hair perfume. I have been obsessed with this lately. It's a honey infused hair perfume and it just smells so soft and fresh. I also like to use this honestly as my daytime scent like if I'm just running errands or just being around the house because it's such a soft like faint but just captivating scent. It's like sweet but soft and powdery. It just smells so good but this as a hair perfume is so good. I only wash my hair once a week because I don't like to strip it of its natural oils. However I do work out almost every day so with that I'm gonna have a sweaty scalp. So this I like to spray throughout my hair Honestly after like day three hair just to make sure that it still smells fresh This will make your day three day four hair smell like you just got out of the shower now We're down to just beauty products. All right, let's get into some makeup products So I feel like winter started so late here in Connecticut in the past few weeks I noticed that like the regular foundations that I was using was no longer working on my skin It was looking super flaky and dry and just not meshing well this makeup by Mario foundation is like the only thing my skin can wear at the moment. It's such a creamy emollient foundation, but with my skin being dry right now, that's like the only thing that will just lay super even. It will stay on all day without flaking or looking patchy. I literally did my makeup probably like four hours ago and I took a nap before filming this video and everything stayed completely intact. Literally before I was using this foundation, everything else was, would just kind of like flake off if I like rested my head on anything. This just keeps such an even finish on my skin. If you have dry skin or if your skin's been feeling really tight lately and you've noticed that your regular foundation isn't working, get a sample of this from Sephora and see if this will work for you because it's like all my skin is accepting right now for makeup. Everything else is rejecting. <laughs> Next, this powder. It's the new Makeup Forever HD Skin Matte Velvet Powder. I have it in the shade 2 and 26. It's such a finely milled powder. It sets your makeup but allows you to still keep that glow. And the best thing about this powder is that it will literally lock your makeup in place all day long. Like I said, I set my face with this. I took a nap and like everything's just still perfectly intact. I like this too because it's not too matte, but it's also not like too glowy of a powder to where it's not going to lock it in place. It's that perfect in between. It's meant to be a foundation powder, so you can use this on its own, but you can also use it to set your makeup. Whenever I use this to set my foundation, I like to use a fluffier brush. That way I'm not loading on too much product, but it does come with a little compact sponge that will pack on the powder a little bit more if you want more coverage with this powder. If you're just looking for an all around great powder to lock your makeup in place, but not look too cakey, not look too powdery, not be too dry, this is the powder for you. My favorite brush to apply the Makeup by Mario foundation is this Bedellium Tools. This is the 968 BDHD Phase 2 brush. I got this in a Bedellium tool set, which I love if you're on the hunt for some good brushes. Highly recommend getting this set that this brush comes in, but you can also purchase it individual. I love it mainly because it has this nice little edge to it. So you're able to really just like 
press it in so perfectly. It fits all the contours. You can also like swipe the product on and buff it. It has like the perfect density and length for the hairs to like move the product around but not leave any streaks. It's also not too dense to where like it's gonna tug at your skin. It's just truly the perfect brush. And it's also great because you could use it very multi-purposely. You could use this for contouring. You could use it for blush. You could even use it for powder. I kind of want to get a couple more of these so that I can use it for a variety of other things too because it's just such a good brush. Ooh, then speaking of brushes, I've also been loving the Sephora 71 brush. My Bedellium set also came with a brush similar to this one. I just can't find it anywhere. I think I may have accidentally left it in Florida when I visited, but I love both of them the same. Any sort of smaller brush with this angle, I love for laying down concealer before blending it out. I found that if I put concealer on the back of my hand and I kind of lay it down with this brush first and then blend it out with a beauty sponge, I get a way more seamless finish. The concealer doesn't look as caked on or heavy in certain areas. This really allows you to take a little bit of product and spread it a long way and get the most coverage with it. Again, something about the density of the brushes, the movement, the shape just really allows you to lay it perfectly and not leave any streaks. It's just such a good tool. And I also love this if I want to concentrate more coverage in like a specific area. It's just truly the perfect concealer brush. This I've been using every day. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Pink Pop Pillow Talk Matte Blush Beauty Wand. Let's try this again. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand in the shade Pink Pop. I have been loving this. It's the perfect shade of pink. I actually have her on my cheeks right now too. As you can see, it's just like the perfect peachy pink, perfect for the spring and summer. And what I love most about this blush is that I can use it on its own and then lightly set everything with just a translucent powder and it will stay all day. And I feel like that can be kind of hard with liquid blushes a lot of times. You apply them and then your skin just like soaks them right up by the middle of the day. This actually stays in place and it blends really seamless. It's not too matte of a blush. It's not going to look chalky. It's like that perfect in between. It's more like a satin. I wouldn't say it's matte. Whenever I use this blush, I do like to wait 30 seconds before blending it out. And I find that that helps give me not only more coverage and like more pigment with it. It helps it wear longer. If I blend it out right away, I do notice that it does fade quicker and kind of like disappears. This mascara is expensive, but it's so good. I've been really enjoying it and it's the new YSL Lash Clash Mascara. I've been really enjoying the brown one just because it's such a beautiful, rich chocolate brown that just looks so pretty on the eyes. What I have on my eyes now, but then I ended up going over top of the black to touch up my mascara before filming. But I love this because it gives you volume, it gives you length, it gives you separation, it holds a curl, it doesn't clump the lashes together, it doesn't <clears throat> load on too much product. It's truly just like the perfect, most balanced mascara ever. This is what the wand looks like. So you can see it's pretty loaded on with product but it's not one that like when you put it on, everything just looks glopped on. I just love the look that this mascara leaves the lashes. So if you wanna treat yourself to a little luxury mascara, it's really aesthetic and cute, get this one. Then lastly, I recently discovered the brand In Beauty Project. I used them for the first time last year, but then I had like a bunch of other skincare that I was still testing out. And as I ran out of that, I was like, let me give this brand a try again and start incorporating more of their products and just like, my regular skincare routine. I have been enjoying their products so much. And one of the products that I've been really enjoying that has just like brought my skin to life is their Green Machine Skin Transforming Jelly Serum. No joke, this really is skin transforming. Not even an exaggeration. My skin was looking super dull and just lackluster. I had a lot of dark spots from like breakouts that I was having a few months ago that were not fading. I started using this product consistently about three weeks ago and right away I just noticed how much more vibrant and alive my skin looked. This has a vitamin C in it. It also has 15 super greens and 250,000 plant stem cells in it. The bottle says that it will give you the look of clear, healthy, and vibrant skin. It filters away congested and dehydrated tired skin, which is exactly how my skin was looking. So if you're in the same boat as me and like this winter has really just like did something to your skin I would highly recommend trying this out because like I said, I noticed the difference almost like right away And all right, you guys that wraps up for my favorites I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video Like I said, I really take my time to gather things that I truly love So if you try anything out or if there's anything from this, you're like, I'm gonna give that a try Let me know in the comments down below Also, do not be rude and share with me some of like your favorite products I'm not gatekeeping so you guys shouldn't gatekeep either Leave a comment down below something that you're absolutely loving this month. Subscribe if you want. You don't have to, but it would help me out. I hope you guys have a great day and week. See you guys next time. Bye.